Hey guys, this is Dal Su. Welcome back. This is episode three of our Endless Legends Let's Play. And in our last video, we colonized Tevin to the west, and uh, also noticed that the roving clans had completed one of uh, the missions. Let's see, that gives you a visionary leader. I don't know how they did that. That is incredible that they pacified eight villages in 20 turns. Uh, this just goes to show you what kind of crazy nonsensical advantages that the AI sometimes has and why I don't like to play on impossible mode because that makes them even more crazy. Uh, I believe we are at a point here where we can uh, set up our empire plan. And if I remember correctly, there was a quest given to us uh, by, um, yes, by uh, one of the minor factions who wants us to put some reward points into the empire plan that is for population. <clears throat> is that right? Okay. So we'll probably do that. We'll probably put, uh, oh man, that's 40? Really? No, we probably won't do that actually. I'm not sure to have the science. And putting the 20% into the uh, production would also be good. I guess we will do this because it's also our faction quest uh, to apply um, <coughs> some pacification to the natives. So we'll do that, I guess. That's important. Now, I don't know um, exactly how this works because we don't own this province, but uh, they should be happy with us. So perhaps that will fulfill the quest requirements. Plus, we are going to get some extra gold from that, which is always good. In fact, we may be able to buy something like a military unit rather soon, which would be great. Uh, meanwhile, we are still doing a little bit of scouting around, uh, trying to decide where our next move is going to be. I would like to figure out what's to the south of us myself. So why don't you head down there, Petrov? Like, kind of like this. Interesting that there's a little bit of land right here. <clears throat> I wonder what could be there, um, but I don't know if it's worth wasting two or three turns to go all the way out there. Uh, with these marines, I'll probably stick around just in case uh, anyone gets any ideas. So we'll just, uh, can we garrison them? Yeah, okay, garrisoning them will also give us more gold, I believe, <clears throat> which is great. Let's take a look at our cities as far as how their uh, production is laid out right now. We're doing really pretty good on food. It looks like we're producing 48 food per turn, which is pretty incredible, really. Uh, 28 production without any civilians even there, 41 science, and a whopping 33 gold. So our capital city here is doing quite, quite nicely, and we're going to continue to uh, make it tick by uh, building more buildings. And we don't technically need this sewer system badly because we are very happy due to some... Uh, some uh, anomalies we had there. Uh, what we probably will do next, and unless uh, we get a, a, another technology that we really need, is um, we'll probably go for another burrow if possible. I guess it's not possible yet. Okay, so we probably will go with the marine, I'm thinking. Start to kind of work on our military a little bit. And uh, you, you never know when someone's going to come after you, so it's, it's always good to be prepared. All right, as far as our second city, we have uh, pretty low <laughs> stats, but that's okay, it's starting out. You know, we'll probably spend our money on is the mill foundry, because we have just enough money for it, uh, which we can then lead into our seed storage. So I'm thinking we're gonna do that. I was gonna do that uh, so that this will get a heads up, a leg up rather, not a heads up. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and end the turn there. Uh, I'm, of course, worried about red expanding down to here, so we may get another settler soon and uh, try to get this area here. Uh, meanwhile, we've completed our mercenary market, <clears throat> so if possible, we might be able to soon get some heroes to govern our cities. Now, let's look. We've... Uh, well, yeah, yeah, okay, so we do uh, complete the quest through pacification. I'm still not 100% sure who we pacified because I kind of failed to uh, check that out thoroughly enough. But we have proven that we are not a belligerent warmonger. Little do they know. So they're pacified, and I believe that's going to fulfill... Uh-oh. Okay, so we're getting a message. They did not like our forward settle at all. Myrla. What a stupid name. You can't declare war anyway, so why should I be concerned with what you say? Although they do have the visionary leader. I don't know how, but they somehow did. 
Okay, so we're still a technology away from our next tier. And I'm thinking we might want to go ahead and get uh, some of these. Let's see, we have a glass deal there and a glass deal there. Uh, we don't have any luxury goods in our home province, but you know, we haven't even scouted the whole thing yet. Uh, does it show anything? Oh, so there's two undiscovered. You know, it's very highly possible that we have more stuff. This is gold. It seems to be a lot of gold on the maps that I've been playing lately. Uh, but gold is great. So we also need to uh, get our luxury uh, production going. Right, right, right. So we can choose between the uh, strategic resources, the uh, geometric, geometric lab. That would help us a lot. Uh, we don't technically need this aqua stuff, but we could use it in our new city. Uh, although it will be a long time before we're ready to do anything like that, so I'm thinking that that's probably not the best idea right now. Um, I'm kind of actually leaning in the direction of a Dawn Officer, because I, uh, I'm thinking kind of in the direction of possibly even attacking uh, the yellow roving clans. And just kind of getting rid of them early on so that I have a, a, a well-established dominance in the south there. Um, military science seems fairly useless. I don't plan on getting sieged too much. Uh, so we're probably going to just do Dawn Officer. I would like to start to work on a military bit. You keep heading down this way and see what you can see. We have found the Silix in our home province, really. I think that these guys are probably one of the strongest minor factions in the game because they give you extra uh, strategic resources when you pacify them which would be fantastic, and uh, we'll have to parlay with them on the next turn and see exactly what it is that they desire. Meanwhile, we our population has actually grown uh, in our capital city. So what are we going to do with that extra little peon? Uh, you know, if we keep him there, we're still growing super, super fast. Oh man, that's a tough decision. And what are we even going to build next turn? We're almost out of uh, things to build, although we could do another burrow, which is probably the smart move, the prudent move. How are our boroughs laid out right now? Let's take a look here. Can we, yeah, okay, so we have uh, our city is here, and our borough is there. So is there anything else we want to grab? We could put one here and get uh, quite a bit more food and science. Here is not so great. Uh, here's, here's pretty good, actually. That can't be right. Six total production from that? No way. Hmm. Well, we'll kind of think about that later. Uh, we're going to finish our sewer system really quick, even though we don't have anyone in production. So maybe we'll build a military unit. Perhaps we will. Perhaps we will design and build a military unit. Uh, meanwhile, our other city is um, its not growing as fast as it could be. We did construct a mill foundry last turn so that we can expect some production to really get ramped up here. I'm not too worried about this city. I think it's going to do fine. It is uh, less, a lot less content and will be even less so after the booster is done. They do not like expansion in this game, so you have to be really careful to balance your expansion with uh, happy things. And we will do just fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and end our turn there. Sewer system has been complete in the, completed in the wrong city and we have some roving, looks like some kind of minotaurs there. So uh, how shall we dispatch them? They're headed for my new city, which only has one marine. Um, I don't think that they'll attack my city. It's been a long time since I've played, so I can't, can't quite remember, but I don't think they pose a real threat. However, these guys definitely do, since my hero is right here. Can I take out two Silix with uh, just Petrov? Does she have a level up coming to her and I just didn't notice? She does. Hmm. Plus one vision on units. More movement. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with you, Petrov. Let's go ahead and increase your uh, speed. I like that uh, uh, you're a good scouter. We can probably scout this and then run away. Can't we? I mean, parlay it. Okay, so um, enter technology error 2 within the next 10 turns. We will do that in 2 turns, Silix, and we will be pacified. That is great news. Meanwhile, you're going to kind of run away. Petrov, Judith is level three now so she's got two in that and what do, what is her third I don't know maybe she only gets two okay and uh, construction has been completed on the sewer system so the big decision is what to build next in our capital city we could go with another borough 
Um, our happiness is so high. Uh, it's only going to take us down 10, right? And that would bring us to 80. I mean, we're at fervent right now, which is pretty incredible, I believe. What is fervent? Plus 30 to food. Plus, I don't want to lose fervent. Let's go ahead with a marine. But actually, before we do that, Let's take a little look at our unit designer because uh, there might be some things that we could change. I uh, forget. There we go. Okay, so nope, that's not it. Sorry, guys. It's been a little while since I went to the uh, design screen here. It's been a little while since I played. I guess you do do it this way. So if I want to do a new unit, and I'm going to use the marine as a model. Now there's not a whole lot that we can add to him. Uh, I believe we can give him a weapon, can we not? Yes, he, he already has a, a, a weapon, right? So it's nine attack damage and one initiative, and he has point blank power, which is uh, close range attack plus 10. Okay, he's also a techno lover. Oh, so we need a holy resource, that's right. And uh, we're gonna have three range and a bit of a block. So I think we could outfit him with uh, some armor, but he's going to be vastly more expensive, is he not? We could just give him improved movement, or we could give him improved vision and sharp senses. But these are also quite costly. I guess we'll just stick with the marine we've got for right now. And yeah, build me a, build us a marine, Kendra. I'm gonna start. Uh, Start knocking out some of these rovers around here. Alright, so we got that worked out and uh, our booster's done, unfortunately. And we do have uh, 10 die, but that's not enough, is it? Okay. So, I think that we're good there. Uh, we are still two turns away from growing again, but man, really fantastic growth. It's almost maybe time for another settler after that uh, marine is done. And Tevin, yeah, well, we're going to take a little while to grow, but you know, the production's getting better, so I think we're pretty satisfied with that. The centaurs continue to rove around a bit, and in one turn, we will definitely have these silics on lock. And I'm assuming since we still have two undiscovered resources, that there is actually some goodies out there. So I guess Petrov has to turn her ass around and head all the way back up there, but that's not a, a huge problem considering she has uh, six movement points at this point. Alright, the population has grown finally in our second city and we also put him into production because our seed storage is coming soon and that will increase our growth tremendously and then we'll go straight into sewer system because they are going to be unhappy before too long when I third make my third city. Alright, so so not too much going on at this point. Uh, we will start to probably build up a bit of an army. Um, I'm thinking to expand here next. And uh, from there, who knows? We gotta explore a little bit more down here, but Judith's busy. Right, so I've reached a second research error, uh, which has a few effects, I believe. You get Second tier weapons and armor, uh, newly trained units are level two, watchtower foundations reveal, empire plan level two, blah 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 blah, legendary deeds of the second era. That's new from Guardians. I need to maybe try to get one of those. And I have uh, finished my research on the cavalry unit. Not too bad. And the glimpse of the new era. Thanks to the scientific progress of your empire's new legendary building and deeds are available and ready to be complete. But you must be fast. Only one empire will be able to achieve each one of them and receive the benefits. Okay, so you have warriors, warrior. Be the first to attack and defeat at least 10 armies of the other empires. And your request, I mean your, <laughs> sorry, your reward will be uh, an item called the uh, Eye of the Farthinker which I can't see for some reason right now. Um, negotiation tactics of city improvement. Oh, 50 to, uh, to trade routes. And um, this one, be the first to build the legendary building in order to benefit. And the effects are plus 25 per level on industria megapole. What is a megapole? Hmm. Negative 30 district cost. That's not bad. Okay, so we will maybe do those. And we've completed uh, another level of our quests. They are uh, impressed and pacified. The Silics, right? Okay, and uh, 
That should uh, also... Ooh, we were level 5 in our capital city. I didn't even realize that, man. The growth is outrageous. I think what we'll probably do uh, is sh at least get this um, marine rocking next turn. Can we do that? Really? Really? Okay. So now we get the marine next turn. And at that point, I'll probably go for... Uh, see, I don't have the uh, resources to do all this. Museum. Yeah. The husbandry center is quite appealing, but you know, I don't want to. I don't think we need to worry about growth too much right now. Probably what we'll do is build a dawn officer and a settler, something like that. I'm thinking. So we have a little bit of an army rocking around, and we're not too scared. The silics should be on my side now, right? So they joined the city. That's right. Okay, so they have joined the city. That's why we grew. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. And we also are going to get extra strategic resources, which would be great. Petrov, you have got to check out this little cove thingy, peninsular area. But uh, we still are missing two resources. Okay, so maybe there are futuristic resources that we don't know about yet. I guess that makes sense. Uh, all right, and let's check on our other second city. Still a ways out on growth, but you know, production is doing pretty, pretty well. That seed storage is coming before too long. And we've got some money coming. So uh, we, might, we might go ahead and log a mint there and a public library, and we'll adjust these as we go on. We probably won't build the sewer system next unless they, unless we're ready to found our third city, which it doesn't look like we're going to be for quite a little time. So yeah, so we're okay with that. Did I miss that? Oh, okay, so I forgot to choose a tech. That's very important. <laughs> Don't forget to choose a tech. Now, I forget, are these the same cost? They're a little bit cheaper. Uh, I'm interested in getting the um, strategic resources rocking before I jump into level two. So let's do that. That will be four turns. That's not bad. And I'm not sure what we'll go for, but we'll we'll take a closer look once that's done. That's kind of a key technology. I, I probably should have got that instead of Dawn Officer. Uh, search party's not key. Military science, not really not key at all. These armors are important, but I feel like if you're already in level two, right? So I'm already in level two. I can make the better armor without researching this. So it kind of seems like this is useless. And in fact, this one's going to seem useless when I get this one. Actually not, because this is a different resource. So it does have a little bit more of a use. Okay. I love this game so much. The tech tree is just fantastic, really. Uh, I love the way it did telescopes and everything. Okay. So um, that done. We have our technology chosen. Uh, quickly just check how far are we out from an empire plan it's still 16 turns away I'm not super happy that we chose this but we did and uh, I'm still not incredibly sure did we pass by the Jotas who was it that we passed by ah, I'm colorblind you see so I know that these are different colors right aren't they see, I'm colorblind so it's very hard for me to tell yeah see these are kind of glowing and these aren't so I believe that means I've got these guys uh, happy and ready to join me. But is there an easy way to tell? No. Maybe that's going to put this ahead in terms of, oh, see, I didn't even realize that they had expanded. All right, we got to go with the settler, man. We got to move the settler up. We do not want them expanding uh, into, into Katon without us getting a piece of the action. I suppose there are quite a few places we could expand, but uh, once the roving clans gets going, um, they're going to be a danger. All right, cool. In the turn there. All right, taking a little longer to calculate these days. Things are getting more. Oh, great! It's winter time. So if you've never played this game, winter time just totally blows. It's uh, mains makes all your units slow down, your production drops, all this kind of horrible stuff that nobody likes. Ain't nobody got time for that. But. Everybody goes through it at the same time, so you know it's hurting you, but it's also hurting your enemies, so it's not terrible. Okay, so our marine has finished, and our settler is under construction. We're going to send both of them directly to Katon. So one of our chores this turn is going to be to pick out a suitable spot. Tavon has finished a, swords, uh, a seed storage and gone to Empire Mint. Yes, yes, I know. Winter is horrible. Uh, so do we want the mint next? That's what we need to ask ourselves. We are pushing for an expansion, which means a sewer system 
Are we going to expand before eight turns and make our city unhappy? That's what we have to think. Also, we need to parlay with these... What are they? The Irises. We need to parlay with them and get them on our side soon. Perhaps Judith can do this uh, afterwards. But, uh, yeah, I think a mint would be great. We are losing 10 gold. It's really holding our economy back. So this is going to at least make us uh, closer towards breaking even in the city. So, good. All right. And uh, Petrov. Petrov, my lady. Man, it just kind of snakes. You know, taking all my time. Oh, yeah, she's moving slow because of wintertime, of course. So it's going to be even worse scouting conditions. Um, so we have this Marine in here now, and he's level 2. Uh, so he will go with the settler. Five turns, really. Five turns. I mean, our production is outrageous. Why is it five turns? 189. Was it that much before? Does it go up? I forget. Anyway, winter time sucks. Not much we can do. End our turn. Uh oh. Right, looks like they're not gonna be able to reach us. Man, our province just keeps on going. See, this is this is. Uh, this is a bit weird. I've never seen this. Uh, so it's going to like snake over here. And I don't know if this is the end of the world or what, but it's very interesting. Okay, uh, not a whole lot of wintertime activity. Of course, our settler is uh, probably the most important thing right now. We do not want them to get Ketan. And we have to just constantly keep an eye out. I'm sure that we'll not get her cuff, but we we'll probably get Haimara. And hopefully... You know, I need to scout this really bad. It's almost tempting to... Uh, I almost want to build another marine here. You know, I researched the damn Dawn official, and I haven't built him yet. And he's got, what, three moves? The marine's only got two moves. The, the Dawn Guard would be a better scout. But he's eight turns, man. Eight turns. And we're growing so slow. Even did we we finished, but it's winter time, so there's just not there's just nothing we can do. It's really frustrating. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is let the mint finish. And just keep on rocking. Keep your mind on what you gotta do. That's that's uh, the important thing in this game is kind of making plans. Speaking of, uh, I needed to check out this area to see where my settler is going to head for, but it's misleading because it's winter time and everything's zero, 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 so a bit harder to uh, kind of visualize. Right here could be good. I'm gonna get uh, at least the uh, ruby cactus field and then I can expand out to each one of these. Is there anywhere else that would be good? Probably that's the best spot. Right smack in the center. So we gotta get on that man because uh, we do not want the stupid roving clan or what are these, the draken? They actually have two provinces there. The draken I believe. Do I have diplomacy? Yeah. Yeah, red of the dragon. Do we want anything from you? No, not really. We should probably, at this point, take a look at uh, what's available, at least heroes-wise. We do need a governor for uh, our cities at some point. Um, 500 gold is going to be a long time. So, I guess we just hit our turn. Wintertime blues, huh? All right, let's keep going away from these. These are Silix. They're on my side, right? You're not going to attack me. You're supposed to be my bro. I would think. Man, this is a wacky province. Okay, so we've got a titanium deposit, which is good. That means we have both glass, steel, and titanium, both of the tier one resources in our capital province. And man, does it just keep going? Really? It's insane. Insane. All right, uh, again, winter time. You're kind of just waiting for winter to be over. We have researched the uh, alchemy furnace, so we can get our uh, strategic resources rocking. And we need to choose a new technology, and we can go ahead and move up to level two. I'm not going to get the geomic labs. Uh, man, I didn't realize how good it was. Plus two on terrain with science. Oh, man, I think we do need to get that. I think we absolutely have to have that. What is there in Tier 2 that, we, that we're worried about right now? Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got Hydrology, which is uh, plus 1 to terrain with industry. Yeah, that's great. Plus 7 on city. 
Um, management is great. It's plus one to forest. We don't have that much forest, do we? And our better weapons. Alchemy Workshop is a really great science building. And uh, the market is good for approval and uh, influence. We can have peace treaties. Another minor faction assimilation slot. That's right, you can only assimilate one, can't you? I forgot about that. Hold on a second. Hold on a tick. I'm forgetting things. You guys just have to bear with me. I mean, it's I, I, I was a master of this game about six months ago. And then it's been a while, so let's see. Uh, don't you need to... Don't I need to do something here with these... Uh, yeah, empty slot, right. Okay, so I need to go ahead and assimilate the silix. And that costs 30 influence points. Right, right, that's why, that's why, that's why. Okay, so we've assimilated them now. And back to technology screen. We are uh, tempted by the public granary. Um, unit buyout reduction is so-so. Eh, uh, rivers and such would be improved. Unlocks the resources stockpile in the marketplace. A titan, who's uh, one of our powerful units. The uh, plus two army unit slots on empire and garrison unit slots is definitely something you need. Because you get plus two to your army so you can carry around six instead of four is that right and uh, extra experience yeah so yes there are some great things here but we really want that we don't want to pass up that geomic lab and that's gonna take five turns because it's fucking winter time excuse my language Petrov you're never gonna get to the end of this you're gonna be like Odysseus trying to get home Good deal. All right, we'll go ahead and end our turn there. And we have completed our mint and moved on to the sewer system, which is fantastic. Summer has returned upon us. And our first uh, faction quest is done. We have uh, assimilated them, which, is, which was actually the quest. So sorry about that. That was a bit of a goof. Uh, we will see what our next step is. Build two new strategic resources extractors. I was going to do that anyway. No problem. So when we get come back from our break, uh, episode four, we will work on that and also work on grabbing this. Oh, we got a fight. And we'll also take care of this fight. And the uh, why are they attacking me? Really? Come on. I mean, you're supposed to be assimilated. Anyway, in the next episode, we'll deal with them. We'll try to grab this northern province. And uh, we'll work on a few other things. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks.